Guys, it's finally here. So thanks to Papa Soap, they are sponsoring today's video and they sent me this waterfall pump. Now I have an outdoor mini pond that I had going this summer and I'm keeping some fish in there over the winter. And what we're looking at now is an unboxing of uh, Papa Soap's waterfall feature. Now they have, uh, this thing was really cool. Now essentially what it is, it's a box that adds a uh, a hose to it that connects to a pretty powerful pump that goes in your pond and what will happen is water fills up that square box and then overfills the ledge and then falls down like a waterfall. Um, it's a really, really simple setup, which means it's easy to put together. And I think that means that if things do break, right, it's going to be easy to repair. Now, really, there's just a few pieces. Now, there's the lip to the box that creates the waterfall. It comes with this adhesive black silicone or glue. And that's really just to seal where this thing goes down into the box so that it is more watertight and it doesn't really leak. Um, I had to use a hammer in this case I use like a screwdriver just to press that down where it needs to go um, but because I don't think you can press it with your fingers um, by yourself uh, but here's the pump it's a decent size pump and it connects to this really rigid tubing like this isn't like really flexible tubing that you can like squeeze and kink like this thing is is pretty stout um, and then this is the part that connects to the box right and so that part that I'm unscrewing goes inside that waterfall box area and it has two rubber o-rings or two rubber washers just to make sure it's watertight and again that it doesn't leak and that it all goes through that that outlet port um, in the front um, but this is how the water comes in and, and guys whenever I set this up in the mini pond this thing's pretty powerful it was just launching water um, into this little water waterfall area um, but guys like this is all that's that's all you have to do you have to add the lip then you have to connect the pump to the hose and then you connect the hose to the box and you're done now it also comes with this mesh bag and the mesh bag is really so that leaves and debris um, doesn't clog up your pump right and so now we're going outside that was all of my dog and here's my mini pond setup um, so there's not as many plants in here anymore because I took them all out for the winter because it's getting uh, fall time now and weather's cooling down um, but I am leaving a few things out here I am gonna leave a few rice fish out here um, because they can withstand uh, our winters out here in North Carolina. Now, if you look, there's a good bit of hose. Now, you can chop this hose. Um, I'm not going to because it's not uh, being lifted too high to where it's going to restrict the flow, and I may want to use it uh, somewhere else in the future. So, I'm going to figure out a way to make it not be seen um, somehow within the pond. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to fix or make sure that the this box here stays in place? And since I'm right against my deck, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna get two L brackets and I'm gonna use those L brackets to hold the waterfall box in place. And so these are two L brackets. You can get them for like 40 cents at Lowe's. I think they come in like a 10 pack for you know just a couple dollars. And I'm only drilling into the deck. I am not drilling into the box. And so what's essentially happening is the the L bracket is just going to hold that box in place so whenever it's filled with water it doesn't tip into the uh, mini pond and just no longer work. And I gotta say it looks pretty good. Now it, it doesn't blend in as smoothly um, but I do plan on adding some plants in there next season and I think it's going to hide that and it's going to look really good. Now this hose was really big and I tried a few things on how I could hide it. I tried putting it behind that plant. Um, There's just a number of things that I was trying to, to do to eventually get uh, this hose like not within eyesight. Um, I would recommend that if you, if you know that this is what you're going to use it for and you're not going to move it, go ahead and cut it to size and that way you don't have all this excess hose that you have to deal with. Um, but if you're like me and want to well, let me keep it just in case then you can 
Um, and what I did, I actually went and got a giant rock and I placed it on top of that hose. Um, here's the rock right here. So this is one of the rocks in my backyard. Um, I've used rocks from my backyard in some of my scapes and, and, and everything turns out fine. Um, now, remember, this hose is pretty rigid. So when I'm placing this rock on, it's not going to keep the hose. It's not going to uh, indent it or anything like that because this is a pretty stout um, hose. Now, I just plugged it in, and as you guys can see, it's a nice waterfall. But if you look up towards the top, you can see that this thing's pretty powerful. Like, it's launching water. Some of it's going outside the box and, 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 and over towards the back. Um, but overall, I think it looks really good. Now, you're definitely going to have to put something in here to kind of slow down the flow. And so what I'm going to do is use lava rock, right? Lava rock is going to help slow down that flow so it's not as splashy, I guess. Um, but it's also going to be a, a, just a great natural filter. And it's going to house a ton of beneficial bacteria. Um, that way, m the water quality stays crystal clear and my fish stay healthy and and all of that and if you look at it now like the water inside the box is is a lot more uh i guess reasonable it's not splashing out and if you look at the my fish here i got rice fish and tadpoles in here um and i think i think they're doing great um here's a tadpole all the way against the wall and there's a, a couple rice fish um well guys i hope you like this video i hope you consider buying this product because i really enjoy it and i've been enjoying it for the past couple weeks um thanks guys and i'll see you next time.